And if you plan on driving at all, you should check your tires. You need to know CDOT has put traction laws in effect for the metro area. That's very good to know. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski has been out checking all those road conditions for you. We want to make sure you're, you're safe. And, Jen, this is a big deal. Adam, CDOT has never done this before, which just shows you how bad the conditions are out here right now. And I got to tell you, on our way here, we were driving in our live truck. We saw a handful of abandoned cars. A lot of cars were sliding off on icy spots. And for the most part, we found that the side roads really are the worst right now, like the one we're on right now. You can see this really hasn't been plowed at all. So if you're headed home tonight, try to take the main roads. Roads are a slushy, icy, dangerous mess. This is so rare in the metro area. So bad, CDOT put traction laws in effect for the first time in the Denver metro, which means if you plan to drive on any of the major interstates, you must have snow tires, four wheel drive, or chains. You need to have good traction to be driving on these roads. This car should not be driven on the roads in these conditions. If you don't, you can get a ticket if it's really egregious, but this is going to be more about enforcement if they do come upon you, talking to you, and making sure that you understand what these conditions really warrant. But if you're heading to the mountains, don't expect to walk away with a warning for driving on bald tires. If you're up on I-70 and you do actually block traffic, you're eligible for a fine up to $600. So this is not insignificant. And while the roads are already in bad shape, Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson says they might be worse during tomorrow's morning commute. We're going to drop to about 18 to 20 degrees by morning. So a lot of the slush that's out there is going to freeze up in the morning. Now, if you're not sure if your tires have good enough traction, there's a real easy way to check. All you need is a quarter. Turn it upside down and put it in the middle of your tire here. And if it covers, if your tread covers the top of George Washington's head, you're good to go. If not, CDOT wants you to stay home. Reporting live in downtown Denver tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. All right, thanks, Jen. We're looking out for you as you make your plans for your morning commute. Check out our website to track where the plows have driven. That's a pretty neat feature right there. We've also learned tonight Denver will not be out on your neighborhood streets. You're going to have to take care of those.